Hi, so I thought I'd give you a better look at it actually, because while it was in that corner, of course, it was a little dark, you might not be able to see it properly, but I'm about to jet wash it before pulling it to pieces anymore, because this is the essential bits of what I want. We've got gearbox, drivetrain, steering, uh, and the actual framework itself. Now, when it's to pieces like this, you can see there's a hundred things you can do with it. I mean, we could make a little mini Jeep out of it if we wanted, do a little dune buggy out of it. Uh, I'm a huge Doctor Who fan, as you know, and what I'm thinking of is making a little mini Bessie out of it. So kind of like an Edwardian tourer, you know, the bucket seat here and then a, a Model T front end. Anyway, I'm really loving this. Now let's get on and jet wash it down. <laughs> So it's had its clean. Now, it's relatively uh, astounding, actually, how simple these things are. So here we're looking at the front end. It's held onto this one main member that separates the wheels. And here we have the stubby axle that pivots around this point. And this is the steering arm, actually, that goes to the steering column. And when we twist the column, it pushes this little L bracket in and out, which obviously swivels that. Now, that's got a linkage arm between the two, so both of those swivel at the same time. Uh, and that's the front steering. The rear here is uh, going through this transmission box, so we need to get these bits off. They're not held on by very much. There's one great big bolt here, and two little bolts holding that to locate it. Once we undo those, that whole front steering will come off. Now, the wheels themselves <laughs> actually were held on with a spring clip. A little spring clip went in there, and that's all there is to it. So now we've got it clean, we disassemble those parts to get this main bit out. So the engine came through here and had a drive pulley. Here we can see a, a tensioning pulley, an idler pulley, going to the gearbox here on the main drive pulley there. The gearbox itself was held in by these angle brackets and the brackets here on the rear axles. Now there are four points here, so these clearly were made for a couple of machines. This one's actually been fixed onto this one. So there's two, dry, two bolts holding it there, and then at the bottom on the bracket is a couple of bolts. Now here is something a bit odd. There are a couple of extension arms with a um, piece going across the pulley held on by our clips. No idea what they're for. But anyway, let's just... Oh, one other interesting thing, incidentally, is that the wheels had no bearings on them. They were just bushed again, which is kind of cool. Anyway, let's carry on. And there it is, all stripped to pieces. So here's the chassis, here's the front steering, there's the rear transmission axle and powertrain, and it's ready to give it a clean to and then fit back together before we do the modifications. And it's funny actually how so much of recycling, upcycling, modifying, restoring stuff consists mostly of pulling it to bits and giving it a good clean. The cleaning it and painting it is a big part of restoring it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video so far and thank you very much for watching.